Her self-portraits inspire us to create our own life narratives. Like if you're an artist, you can create your own life narrative. You can put it down on paper. You can put your own emotions on paper. She she sort of gave us this um, courage or inspired us to be able to do this or want to do this. Hi, this is Anita from Five Minutes with Art, where we like to explore in five minutes a week different things about art or different artists. Today, we're going to talk about Frida Kahlo, and she is probably the most, um, if not one of the most important Mexican artists who's ever lived. She, you know, is a fascinating artist, but one of the things about her that makes her even more fascinating is she painted so many self-portraits. And you might ask, well, why did she paint so many self-portraits? Why was she... You know, we have, you know, certain artists that paint a lot of self-portraits, and Frido Kahlo is certainly one of them, which painted a lot of self-portraits. And here's some reasons why she painted some of the self-portraits that she did. First of all, her, our paintings are filled with symbolism. You know, she's unique because her paintings are filled with symbols that represent her life and her own experience, and in particular, her pain and suffering. If you know anything about her history, you know that she was in a... Um, bus accident when she was younger. She actually originally wanted to be a doctor, and then she was in this bus accident, which really left her in a lot of pain and left her with problems throughout the rest of her life. And that's when she sort of started painting and became an artist. So a lot of her work, when you look at her work, a lot of it's the symbolism of her own life, her own pain, her own suffering, her own, you know, inner turmoils. And that's, you know, one of the things that makes her such a great artist is because we're able to delve into her psyche and to understand a little bit more about her through her art. Her self-portraits, you know, helped her to understand her own identity and life experiences. You know, so kind of in a way, we could say that like many people who paint, you know, maybe painting is a bit of a therapy. And I know sometimes for me, like, you know, painting becomes like a therapy. We, 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 we paint out of a, a therapy. We, we create out of therapy, you know, maybe a sense of our own, our own therapy session. And Frido Kahlo was kind of the same. Her self-portraits were a way for her to come to terms and to understand her own identity. And the artist had several life-altering alter, um, experiences, such as the bus accident that left her permanently disabled and her mother's death when she was just 13 years old. So all of these things sort of became a way for her to you know, express these things that happened in her life uh, through her art. So she used her art, you know, to be able to do this. And, and the great thing about her, she didn't hold back. There was no holding back. There was no sense of, I've got to hold back on this. She just really like opened herself up to us. So she really explores her own unique life. You know, she painted these self-portraits to explore and make sense of her own unique life. You know, kind of in a way, why did this happen to me? Why, why did I have to go through this? And she sort of explores that in her paintings and in her self-portraits. Her self-portraits also, they... Um, they're kind of like a contest or they sort of like they contest, you could say, you know, this, this beauty standards of the day. In other words, she's kind of making us think, what really is beauty? What does beauty mean? You know, is beauty the way we see it every single, the way people define beauty, the way we see beauty in the magazines, or is there another definition of beauty? So a lot of her self-portraits also are sort of, you know, defining the standard of beauty and kind of making us think about what exactly is beauty. Her self-portraits are more than just a reflection in the mirror. You know, they were an opportunity for her to grapple with her identity experiences and her own emotions. So it's more than just, you know, I'm just looking in the mirror, I'm going to paint myself. This was more for her to look into her own emotions and to grapple with them. She created a powerful narrative about herself through her paintings and inspired countless others to do the same. She was not afraid to look deep into that mirror and not afraid to have us then look deep into her own soul. And that's one of the things that that it's really, she's given us this great legacy of being able to look into her heart and soul. Her self-portraits inspire us to create our own life narratives. Like if you're an artist, you can create your own life narrative. You can put it down on paper. You can put your own emotions on paper. She she sort of gave us this um, courage or inspired us to be able to do this or want to do this. Frida Kahlo herself said, I paint myself because I'm so often alone and because I'm the subject I know best. 
I, you know, I, I really love her as her artist and her courage that she had to open herself up to all of us. And I think there's a great lesson for us to all learn here about open, having the courage to open up ourselves and our own emotions and open up who we are for the world to see it and to realize that we are each beautiful in our own way. If you'd like to see some of her self-portraits and, and learn more about her 10 most important ones, we'll leave a link into our blog post where we show that and we explain a little bit more about her and why her self-portraits are so important. This is Anita from 5 Minutes with Art. Thank you so much for listening. We appreciate you. We appreciate your time. And thank you so much for being a part of our community and joining with us, allowing us to be part of your lives for the short period of time each week. We'd like to thank you. We know without you, it would not be possible. And we'd like to thank also our team that puts it together, specifically Rico, for making this podcast possible because without the technical expertise, it would be difficult. Thank you so much for being part of our community. Mm-hmm.